Hey guys. Well, unfortunately, uh, for any of us who have greenhouses, we know this time is eventually going to come. It has to. Uh, we have no choice in the matter. Uh, at some point in time, uh, all good things must come to an end, uh, temporarily anyway. Uh, you have to clean your greenhouse out, uh, get everything revamped, get your buckets cleaned out, get your reservoirs cleaned out, and uh, get ready to start for a new season. So uh, usually this time of year is the time I do that, and uh, I'm just kind of kind of show you what I do, kind of the process of how I go about doing it. And uh, we're going to say some goodbye to some, some good old trustworthy friends here that uh, supplied us all through the winter months. I've uh, been in here for like uh, almost eight months now. Uh, they owe no service. So, you know, uh, say goodbye to my friends and uh, we'll replace them with some new ones. So let's get busy. Basically, we're just going to get up here and uh, go right above where we're at. Cut our strings off of our roller hooks. Okay, guys. As I promised y'all, we're gonna uh, do a little measurement on these tomato vines just to see how long they got. So as you see, I've got this stretched out best I can. And this is uh, this is also after shrinkage because they've been in the greenhouse drying out for about a week and a half now. Uh, so this is uh, <laughs> about the best I can do with it anyway. As you see, I got that stretched out, and that's all the vines. And they're all pretty well equal because, you know, I was letting them down. I was letting them down about the same amount every day. And uh, we come up with 21 foot, 8 and a half inches. That y'all didn't know tomato vines could get that long, did you? <laughs> so anyway, there you yeah, have I it. I want to say these clips here. Uh, there's only a limited amount of uses you can get from these things before they decide to break uh, but if you do decide to reuse them you want to make sure that you put them in some uh, some mild bleach water solution to uh, possibly kill any any diseases that might be on them because uh, you don't want to transmit these to your plants next time you use them so uh, keep that in mind and uh, plus like I say you just never know uh, how long these things are gonna last so, you know, just try your best with them. You can get two or three uses out of them. Gonna take our drip lines out, rotate the buckets around, just sticking them in the old drain holes there. Just to get them out of the way for the time being. Okay guys, we're going to take a look at these buckets here. Basically, I'm just going to take these things over here and trusty little cart, and I'm going to dump them in here. And uh, we're going to take a look at, look at what kind of root system we got here. And you guys, as you can feel, it's pretty tight. So I'm going to try to just loosen it up right there a little bit, and then I'm just going to turn it upside down and dump it in the cart. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but there's... Um, some roots there were trying to start going out the drain. Uh, you guys watched Brock's videos, you know, he had a severe problem with this in his setup. Uh, that's Brock Hughes, hydroponics guy. Go over and check out his videos and he'll show you some of the problems he was having with that. That right there wasn't too bad. Uh, as you can see right here, there's some roots coming through the net, the paint strainers. And uh, we'll just pull those off right there. Uh, some of you guys, uh, I know some of you guys, you reuse the perlite. Uh, no, that's that's an option. You can reuse it if you want to. Uh, I definitely reuse the paint strainer bags. Um, and I'm just going to dump them over here in a tub of uh, mild bleach water. And it's not really. That right there is basically a ball of roots right there. Um, with perlite mixed in, so that's this basically what you had. In addition to what you know, some on the on the paint strainer bag, such as that. And like I say, you can you can reuse this perlite if you want to. If you want to rinse it out, I don't. I just dump it and replace it. I just feel like it's just in my best interest to do that. So basically, guys, we just take this in a just a mild 
bleach water solution. I'll make sure you sterilize everything real good. You always gotta keep that in mind when you're shutting your greenhouse down. You gotta clean, thoroughly clean, sterilize everything you can. Cause you don't want any remaining diseases or anything left when you go to start it back up again. You wanna have everything clean, sterile, and ready to go. So, I wanna make sure these bags are good and clean. Just gotta clean all the roots off as best you can. Rinse them off real good. Let them dry out. And take your same solution, wash your buckets out real good. Which the buckets are uh, relatively clean because they really didn't get any, uh, any algae in there. It'll, the way I set them up, where they couldn't, uh, the light couldn't get to the perlite. Buckets are painted, as you see. We'll just wash those out real good, and we'll be ready for next time. You guys, the easiest way I've seen to get the roots off of these things is just lay them out on a flat surface. In this case here, we just got a little plastic patio table. Just take your brush, soft bristle brush, turn it inside out, just brush all the roots off of it. They'll come right off, flip it over, do the same thing, rinse it. And then basically, you got a nice clean bag to put back in your bucket. Hey guys, I'm just gonna take a mile bleach water solution I'm just going to spray basically everything down in the greenhouse and we're going to wipe it and hose it down Okay guys, well that about wraps it up and it didn't seem any sense in boring y'all with a bunch of cleaning. You, all, you guys all know how to clean. Uh, basically, you know, we just cleaned everything out, disinfected everything, wiped everything down, cleaned the fans, cleaned the heater, uh, cleaned out the reservoirs, and you saw the Dutch buckets, cleaned all them out. Uh, just anything that we could clean, uh, we cleaned it. And as everything is all ready, for the next round and uh, we'll probably get this thing cranked back up again about august september for the fall and winter garden so uh hope this helped y'all out uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh may god bless you we'll see you next time